Okay, the Facebook virus is going around yet again, as it usually does. You might get an email from your Facebook support with Facebook password reset confirmation. And the email will read something along the lines of, because of the measures taken to provide safety to our clients, your password has been changed. You can find your new password in attached document, thanks to your Facebook. As you can see, it's in a zip file. Another one, which is doing the rounds from Facebook, is updated account agreement. And due to Facebook policy changes, all Facebook users must submit a new updated account re agreement regardless of their original account start date. Accounts that do not submit the updated account agreement by the deadline will have restricted. It doesn't say what will be restricted, but they will have restricted. Please unzip the attached file and run agreement.exe by double clicking it. Thanks to the Facebook team. A bit different to the previous one, which was your Facebook. And this is another zip file. And these are bad news. And UPS are doing a new version as well. And they've been doing it for some time. Now, if you download the agreement, you will have a zip folder. This is the latest one from Facebook. And this one is from UPS. Now, one thing you can do is go to Virus Total. And you have a choice of languages here. You can pick your language. And all you have to do is browse for the location. And here we have the agreement. Open. Send file. Now this will only take a few seconds. It's already been analysed. You can show the last report or you can reanalyse the file. As you can see, 15 of 39 virus scanners have found this to be infected. Now if we go back, and I will also upload the invoice zip file from UPS, who have been sending these out for quite some time. And again, this one has also been recently analysed. And again, 27 out of 39 virus scanners find that this contains malware. So it's not a good sign. So you wouldn't want to open it. Now in this case, what I will do is extract the agreement from Facebook, double click it to run it, and after a moment or two, something might happen. We shall wait and see. In the meantime, I will extract the UPS invoice, now the agreements disappeared, and the invoice gives you an installer. Now, why would you want an installer for an agreement? And again, the installer's disappeared, nothing's happened. But it has. Your machine is now infected. Now, previously I've used malware bytes. This time I'm going to use Super Anti Spyware Free Edition. Simply click on the link to download and allow the file to download and save it to a location of your choice. I will save it to my desktop. Simply double click to run it and allow it to extract. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Click Next. You don't need to fill in any details. Click Next. I just keep clicking next until it starts the installation and this doesn't take very long. It's a couple of minutes and that's it done. Now once the installation is complete, click finish. Choose your language. Click OK. Click yes to check for the latest definition files which will be downloaded and installed and this will take a couple of minutes. Now on your desktop you'll have the Super Anti Spyware shortcut if you've got for that, gone for that. And in your system tray you'll have a little beetle icon. Now, welcome to Super Anti Spyware. Click next. Click next. Automatically check for program and definition updates. Click next. Optional whether to send a diagnostic report to their research center. This will add more information for them to be able to whitelist various programs. Protect your home page which is recommended. 
Now the first thing you want to do is click on Preferences. Untick Start Super Anti Spyware when Windows starts and show the splash screen on Startup. These are unnecessary resources and this will slow down your boot time. It's not needed. It's an on-demand scanner and the free version. Use Windows XP style men menus and integrate with Vista Security Center. Again you can change your language here. Startup scanning. Do not scan when Super Anti Spyware starts. Check for updates before scanning on startup. Leave these as they are. Scanning control. Oh, I've changed the language. I'm good at doing this. Scanning control. Leave these as they are. Ignore system restore volume information on MEXP. Leave that unticked if you're using ME or XP. Close browsers before scanning is a good idea. And terminate memory threats before quarantining. Tick that box as well. You can manage allowed items once it's actually found some. You can manage excluded folders. You can add or remove. I will add here. my C drive and close it. Real-time protection. This is only available in the Pro version. The same as first chance protection and real-time notification. Hijack protection. Leave these settings as they are. Especially prevent any application from terminating Super Anti Spyware. Statistics and logs. Keep a detailed log and save empty clean logs. Leave that as it is. If you have malware that has caused problems with your start menu, your system file, your system tray, task manager, Windows control panel, explorer, internet zone, desktop screen saver and so on, click on whatever it is here and perform repair. It's a very useful tool. It covers quite a few items. Uh, broken network connections and so on. Zone map settings, user agent reset and even the clock. Updates. Automatic updates are only available in the pro version. In the free version check for program updates when the application starts which is recommended and notify me if I have not checked for definition updates in five days being the default. You can leave that as it is. So we'll close that and in the system tray double click the little beetle icon click on scan computer and I will only want to scan my C drive click next and just leave it to scan okay the scans taken just over 13 and a half minutes and as you can see it's found several infections SVC host fake explorer debugger reader underscore s and so it goes on so all you have to do is click next and allow it to quarantine and remove the harmful items now as with any anti-malware anti-spyware application you will be prompted to reboot to finalize the removal process this is an essential part that should not be skipped so when you've finished reboot to finish the cleaning It doesn't take very long to quarantine and remove these items and there's the message to reboot. I won't reboot at just the moment. I'll click finish and minimize this. And when you reboot you'll find that these icons have gone. Now if you want any more information check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk. You'll also find download links to super anti spyware malware bytes on the page.